Welcome back. You know, hands-on learning is some of the best learning that we can do, and that is what is happening in Muskegon. Students from Michigan State University are helping middle school students learn with a greenhouse. Jory Beadle is here to tell us how it works. So who'd have thunk it, right? <laughs> so how does this work? First of all, where are the kids? They're, they're in Muskegon. Yes, they're correct. Junior, they're junior high. Yep. But they've got these fancy college students yeah. helping them out with a greenhouse. So Absolutely, talk about, talk yeah. About so the students are from Michigan State University okay. and they're in a program with the Institute of Agricultural Technology. Okay. That program allows students to get a certificate from MSU and also graduate from the partnering community college with an associate's degree. So these are all over the state of Michigan um, at many different um, partnering community colleges. So the specific class is actually a greenhouse structures and management class. Wow. And so students in that program are able to learn a little bit more about how to build greenhouses and manage them. So we thought what better way to teach that than actually building a greenhouse. What a great yeah. idea. So the, now these kids are, um, is it a, a variety of different uh, junior highs in Muskegon? Nope, so or it's just school? Muskegon Middle School. Muskegon Middle School. Yep, okay. and so that's actually the build site for the greenhouse, which is really exciting. So we're um, constructing a, a little bit of a, a small footprint farm there in partnership with them. Um, our role is mainly restricted to the greenhouse, um, but we also were able to um, partner with a landscape company to kind of design a little bit of a space there too. So, so are, are these photos of the actual one that's being built? Yeah, or, or has yeah. Been? So there's also some information on there on a couple different local urban farms that students are working at as part of their MSU IAT program. So what a yeah. great idea. Yep. So what else? What else are the students benefiting from this? Yes, yeah, so um, we're basically, the goal of the project is to address food security within okay. um, Muskegon County. Um, there's, a, there's a lack of access to fresh food. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times that's referred to as a food desert. Gotcha. So um, by students kind of building this structure and creating a small footprint farm in an urban area, we're really able to address um, food access and food security from the ground up. Um, with the individuals that will benefit most from that. Is, is it completed now or are they still working? So we're still in the building okay. process of it. Yeah, we're hopefully um, going to get plastic on that, kind of a covering in the spring so students are able right. to start growing in there um, during that spring season. You're right, so once it's completed, they can grow year round. Absolutely, right? yeah. So the structure is designed for season extension purposes. Um, and so that allows them to kind of get a couple months on either end of the normal growing season um, to produce some of those favorite crops yeah, that we absolutely. like in the summer. Yeah, what a great idea. absolutely. What a great idea, both yep. for the college kids yeah. and for these younger students. Yeah, it's yeah. great. Um, it's a community partnership. The, the structure was donated with Muskegon um, Community Foundation in okay. partnership with Michigan Farm Bureau. So there's definitely some huge support in this area, and we're really grateful to all of those partners who were able awesome. to kind of help us with this. Um, so many different groups of learners yeah. benefiting as well as the supporters awesome um, of the project as well. Great, well so, thank you for sharing it with yeah, us. Yeah, thank you so much. We appreciate it. Yep. All right, we've got our top stories coming up right after a quick break. We'll be right back.